Hi everyone, it's Gail, and I am here with Marguerite Miller, week 25. And as well, I am gonna do a couple projects while we chat, um, a couple things to catch up on. And as well, I wanna introduce you to all of my participants in my July Junk Journalers Junket Retreat. I think that will be fun. So let's get started. Let's say hi and hugs first to Jacqueline, Mabel, Kath, and Barbara. Thank you so much for watching and your kind comments. Now I have a little helper today. I've got my, my grand doggy Prince is here. And so he's kind of just exploring. And so he's kind of making my attention go the other way. Okay, let's get going. So last time we did the music one, that was fun. And now this one has a map, something found underwater, a flag, a picnic item. I don't know if I really, oh yeah, I did. Uh, sun or moon and your handwriting. So I've got my sticker book because I think I'm gonna end up using that a lot. So. Let's see, I, I just needed to, sorry, um, I just needed to check the time. So about 25 after we're going to go till. Okay, um, the map I think is what I'm going to use to kind of cover this a little bit. Make it more interesting if we, if we can. Let's see, how about we use the western... United States here. I'm not sure if this is going to tear. Yeah, I think it is. Okay, good. Good, good. So far, so good. Just an old vintage map here. So, this should be fun. There, I got Montana in there. Okay, I'll toss that aside and let's see. Maybe we'll just, I'm just going to tear it with the tear ruler. Just tear a strip kind of off. About, right about there. Okay. All right, so let's put that on. I hope you're having a good day. Um, I have an exciting thing today. I can tell you about that. I'll tell you more about it afterwards. But um, so let's see. Today, uh, I'm filming this on Monday. And um, I have a lunch date with a gal that contacted me. She's one of my subscribers and she's working we have a, a veterans administration hospital here it's we call it the fort uh it's at fort harrison and um this gal is a traveling medical professional and so and she's been assigned to fort harrison so we're just gonna have ourselves a little lunch and get to know each other today. I don't think that is gonna be fun. Okay, so then something found underwater, a flag, a blah, blah, blah. Okay, so for a flag, I found these flags in a little thing that I have. And look, it's this is the military museum. It's located at Fort Harrison. And today I'm meeting the gal that works at Fort Harrison. Yeah, I think that's meant to be. Meant to be. So hi, Deborah. If you watch this, I'll see you at lunchtime. <laughs> okay, let's see. I can maybe just do that. Um, I wanted my handwriting thing, I wanted to put on a, like a strip of this and put it somewhere. Um, let's, I need my other ruler. I don't know. I think I'm going to do this edge and not have the, 
So I just wanted like a strip like that. And then let's, I'm just gonna write on it. And then that's gonna be part of the, of the collage. Uh, let's see, pen uh, right here. Okay, I was thinking of just writing happy words. Let's put love at the top. Love, happy, fun, um, joy, comfort, comfort and joy, uh, comfort, um, laughter, connection. Creativity, definitely need that in there. Creativity, um, <sighs> peace. She says after a big sigh. <laughs> kind, what? How, why'd it take her so long to write kind, you're thinking? Um, okay. Friends. Family. Mm -hmm. Humor. Uh, nature. Uh, I just want to put down dog because my little princey is running around down here. <laughs> um, Let's see what else makes me happy. Um, how about glitter? Glitter makes me happy. Play. Let's see. Gosh. Okay, so now I'm at a blank. Okay, let's say beauty. I'm going to say kindness. I'm just going to say art. And I'm going to say... I don't know why, but it's coming to my mind, so I'm going to write it. Clarity. I don't know. Okay. So there's my handwriting. And we'll just use this somewhere on here. Okay. Then we've got a picnic item. I grabbed a piece of a tablecloth. <laughs> I don't know. I think it works. I think it works. Let's see. I'm going to be covering up the entire map here, aren't I? Let's see. I can't cover up the flag. How can I do that? Maybe like that. You come down here. You go there. Yeah, you go here. I'm going to leave a little of that. Okay. And then I've got sun or moon. I've got this stamped image of the moon, but there's also there's also some things in the sticker book. So there was one thing in the sticker book that these aren't those cool. So I was thinking of maybe this one, but don't want to cover up the flags. So I think what I'm going to do is switch these like that. We can put that there and then you. I really love that one, but I might have to go with a smaller C thing. And Oh, this, this little sticker has the sun and the moon, so that might work too. Okay. 
All right, well, I'm just gonna go for it, put these things down because, you know, no time like the present. Boy, I don't know if this is gonna, I think I'll use art glitter glue to glue this down. And I thought not a bad thing to have a little piece of vintage tablecloth in my collage book. That kind of makes me happy. Yeah, I think that's going to be just fine. Um, and then we'll put this down. <clears throat> yeah, so anyway, that's my day today. I get to go get to go meet Deborah. That'll be fun. Um Oh, oops, quite get enough on the corner. I do sometimes have trouble getting it on the corner. I don't know why. And then I'm gonna pop that right there, I think. Kind of like it over with a little bit of dark right there. I don't know why, but just cause. Okay, so I think I'll a good amount of this on but then I'm also going to put some art glitter glue down in this part that's going to be on the um, tablecloth okay okay fun see I got I didn't get the corner again what my deal is um yeah i'm really excited to get this done so i can show you the other stuff uh what i need to do though is think about this and i didn't i should have put that list on as a belly band or something you are always an issue hmm too busy talking as usual well Tear this guy down. Oops, that was not good. Oops, that wasn't good either. Oh well. You know what I might do? Since I've made a mess of it as is, I'm going to cut it down right to the items. And then it'll just be tiny and won't take up as much room. I haven't done that yet, but let's see. This could, these could be stamped. Three of those, four of those. Okay. All righty then. So maybe we'll just, we'll put that right there and then we'll figure out where the sun and moon and underwater thing can go. Yeah, I'll just put that right there. That'll be fine. Okay, and then let's do, you know, I'm thinking, I don't think I want this guy because you'll be able to see through it. No, I don't think I want him. I think we're going to use this sticker instead. This. Yeah, I think I'm going to just put it right here. Okay, and then my fishies. Oh, I've got so many fishies. Underwater things to choose from here. And these are really cool too. I kind of like how it's, it's black and it kind of goes with that. So I think I'm going to use this one. I'm not sure where. This one, I'm gonna put down here because it's a little thinner. Can't go over the flag. Maybe I'll just put it right here. Oh, 
Okay, I think I got everything. Got the map, the things underwater, a flag, picnic item, sun or moon, and handwriting. Yep, we're done. <laughs> we're done. All right, cool. All righty. Let's um, just get our glue picked up and stuff. And I'm going to just do a little kind of a show and tell because I want to tell you about my library class experience. So there we go. There's week 25. Done and done. Um, I, anyway, I wanted to tell you a quick like about my library class. It was great. It was just great. The gal who taught it did a great job. She's new to junk journals. And she was so gracious and kind when she found out I'd been doing them for a while. Um, she she included me kind of in the class and let me help out some uh, some gals with the binding and stuff like that. Um, so at the beginning, she did a thing where she said, um, she said, do do three things. Say your name say why you're taking the class, and say your favorite dessert. So I s said, my name's Gail Augustinelli, and I said, I've been doing journals uh, for about five years, um, but we, there's always something new to learn, and so that's why I'm here. And, um, and then I said, Mike's Cheesecake was my favorite dessert, <laughs> which you guys already knew. So anyway, um, this is what we made. We made a super simple little uh, journal with scrapbook paper um, cover and then um, various papers on the inside. So what was cool was out, you know, um, in the lobby of our library, there's a book rack with free books. And I found this, which is an old... Um, it's like a parts manual for automobile parts. And look at these fun pages. First of all, they are what? They're like, like four and a half by uh, almost 11. <laughs> so they're a really cool um, shape. And so I shared these with the class. I just tore a bunch out and we did that. And then we got like a little kit. We got a fun little kit, and um, it had papers in it. Of course, my friend Catherine and I, first thing we did, the kit was in a brown paper bag. So first thing we did was tear apart the brown paper bag to use. So this one, I think this one is a pocket. I haven't, like, I haven't messed around with this to finish it. I don't need to do that at some point. But anyway, yeah, this is this one's a pocket. And um, there's my there's my name tag. I thought I'll just say, save that. This little pocket was in in my little kit and this, and so I put put that on there. Um, here's the page from the parts book. Here's another one of the pieces of the sack that I put in. But she had a really cool old Helena City directory that she cut up maps and stuff. And, um, like, this is the beginning page of a book. And I thought it was pretty cool that, you know, we were at the library and still there were some books that did did get cut up for this project. And we were at the library. So those of you that worry about grabbing a page out of a book, you know. So, anyway, there were just very basic supplies. But, um... Oh, I found this over on the table. It's a little, um, it was from a greeting card, so I just made it a belly band on the back. So one of these days, we'll work on that and kind of finish that up. But she had, um, she had instructions printed out on sewing the binding and on how to make pockets. She showed several videos during the class. She just, she was a lovely, lovely lady and she had a smile that just really lit up the room. So it was very fun to meet her. And then we were talking and as she made these little packets, I said, do you ever have need of craft supplies? Because, you know, <laughs> 
I might can help you out, you know, if I do a little cleaning in my um, craft room. And she said, oh, that's a great idea. Well, before we got done with the class, she had this. So there's going to be a craft supply swap Friday, June 15th from 1 to 3 at the Lewis and Clark Library. <laughs> so I'm going to take after, it'll be after my retreat. So any um, extra supplies I have, I can take there. But but yeah, so that was the class. It was well worth going. I felt a little, uh, I felt a little nervous. I don't know, I don't know exactly why, but um it was fun. And guess what? I met one of my subbies. Her name's Mary. And she had no idea I lived here. So she must have, you know, missed any videos where I talked about Helena or something. But she was lovely too. She was so sweet. And it was so fun to meet her. Um, so yeah, so that was, that was definitely, you know, I just, especially since the, you know what, I need to get out of the house and do things that are not comfortable, you know, just go do it and it'll be fine and it'll be wonderful. And so that's my big takeaway from this. Okay, so my other show and tell was I wanted to show you this, um, this awesome collection from Tim Holtz. I just got it from Simon Says Stamps. It's called Eccentric. And um, I love it. So this, so yesterday I sat in front of the TV. Can you see in there? I made a gazillion pieces of little fun things, little labels and stuff to put on. That is what I've told you many times. This, this little basket sits beside my desk and I throw in the strips. Like I just threw in these strips that I tore off of our Marguerite Miller thing. So save these little uh, strips and stamp on them. And then you have all these pre-made labels. So I'm super excited about these. And it it literally took me all afternoon yesterday. <laughs> and But now I have them and I'm so excited. So that's going to go right there. And I've shown you this. So that's good. Okay. So we are going to get to my July retreat participants. And while we're, oh, while we're doing that, I'm going to be doing some cutting. But I have one more show and tell before I start to talk about the ladies. So, um, you know, we did the vintage tape. Was that yesterday? I don't know. I mean, you know, with my weird filming, I, I'm not sure. But I had the one that it felt a little dark to me. This was the one that I really like that looks like um, looks like vintage tape. So I decided to stamp on this one. And so I just did black stamping and I think it's going to be awesome. I really do. So I want to show you some of the uh, stamps I use. This one is a Tim Holtz I got on clearance at Hobby Lobby. Uh, it doesn't have a name, really. It doesn't look like, but the number on it's T H M M one two two, and I love the little background dots. And so I filled in a couple places with those. So there was that. This one is um, the Chow Bella. It's from the Muse. Um, I got it at Journey of Crafting. And so that's these floral ones, and then, um, and then this one, this one with the writing, and then the floral. So that one, I used this text stamp. It's called Ledger Script from Tim Holtz. I did that one, and then Carabella Studio stamps. These are Jen Bishop stamps. Um, this one is right here. This one is called Background Postcard. I love this stamp. And then I also use this bit right here. And this one is called Secret Garden. So those are the stamps I used. And then I, I got a whole nother piece. So I have all of these pieces that I need to cut. So I'm going to cut them while I talk about these lovely ladies that are coming soon. Oh my gosh. It's like, 
let's see. It's, I think it's two weeks from today. It is. <gasps> Isn't that fun? Okay. So let's, let's cut and talk. So, uh, there are, there is room for, um, for 11 people in my retreat house. So, um, so there are 11 names here on this list. So let me introduce you to the people who are coming and bless their hearts, are flying, are driving. Most are coming from great distance, let's just say. Okay, so let's start off with, we've got Veronica. Uh, she is Triple V Vintage on Etsy. Super excited to meet Veronica. Veronica is going to bring um bring some goodies. We'll have a table where um where people can purchase uh things from Triple V Vintage right there on site, which I think that'll be really fun for everybody. So yeah, so Veronica, Triple V Vintage. Oh, can't wait to meet her. She's such a doll. So there's her. Then the second one is, oh, that was not straight. Oh, well, we'll use it in bits. It'll be fine. Let's try and, let's try and go straight now. So the second one is Lori Padilla, my friend Lori from Piles of Paragraphs. Um, I have a whole uh, playlist of tags of the month. And those came from Lori. We met at the 2019 Creativation is where Lori and I met. Um, she came to the Blue Fern class and um, that and I was helping the the gals at Blue Fern. So so yeah, she came to that class and um, she introduced herself as one of my viewers and so we sat together at the class that was super fun and um and just chatted and had a great time and then we ended up spending a good deal of time the off time of creativation her sweet husband took me to lunch so um so yeah so that's that's lori i'm super excited to see her again in person and um so she is piles of paragraph on Etsy and Instagram. So um, I'm hoping you'll go over and look all of these of these wonderful people up, um, and you know, subscribe if you haven't subscribed to their YouTube or you know, follow them on Instagram or whatever, and support their Etsy. Okay, then third is my pal Eve Spade, who is. Um, who is here in Montana. So she's not going to be driving too, too far. Um, how big do I want this? About there. Um, and Eve is Eve Spade on YouTube. She is Collective Chickadee on um, Etsy and Instagram. And if you, if you follow Eve on Instagram, she often... Um, she's a photographer as well as a journal maker, uh, multi-talented gal. And she, um, she will post pictures of wildlife and stuff in Montana that are just incredible. She and her husband are very outdoorsy folks and they hike and they get amazing pictures of wildlife and just the beauty, the beauty that surrounds us. So that's my pal Eve Spade. So we've got Veronica, Lori, and Eve so far. And then we have, oh, my dear friend, I love her so much, Betsy. My, my friend Betsy, she is not on social media, but um, she is from Anaconda, where I do my other retreat. And Betsy, um, so Betsy knows my husband's history. She, you know, she's lived there her whole life and all of that. So um, it's a very fun connection. And she is just, I'll try not to cry, but she, <laughs> she is just the salt of the earth. I love Betsy so much. 
and Betsy's going to be my right hand at this retreat. She is, um, she said, whatever you need, whatever, you know, whatever I can do. I really wanted to have somebody that was sort of like my right hand, just in case. I mean, if there was an emergency, I had to run somebody somewhere. I want there to be someone left at the retreat house that can kind of take over. And so Betsy has agreed to do that for me. So Betsy, if you watch this, I love you, my friend. You are the absolute best, absolute best. So I'm really excited for all the ladies to meet Betsy because they're going to love her as much as I do. I just know it. Okay, so that's Betsy. Then my pal Lynn, Lynn's Altered Arts on Etsy, YouTube, and Instagram. I'll have all these linked below, um, all of their, you know, all their names so you can look them up and everything. Uh, yeah, so anyway, Lynn is coming, and I'm super excited. Lynn is just awesome. Look at that. How cool is that? Yep, those are going to be good. Um, Lynn will, <laughs> every now and again, when I get... You know, I'm a little slow getting to comments and or it's kind of overwhelming or whatever. Lynn will step in and um, and answer some questions for me on my comments. And I just so appreciate that. It's just so sweet of her. She doesn't have to do that. And, and she does. She just is being helpful. So I really appreciate that. So that's my pal Lynn. Lynn's Lynn with just L-Y-N is how she spells her name, Lynn's Altered Arts. And she is the one, let me show you if I can real quick here. Uh, 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 where are you, Lynn? There you are. She does these vertical words. I had talked about vertical words on one of my, um, on one of my videos. I said, oh, I wish there were more vertical words. And Lynn just hopped right on it and she has those wonderful things. I use them all the time. So, um, so thank you for that, Lynn. And if you don't have them, you should get them because they're just they're They fit in so many places where nothing else fits. That's really cool. Look at that. Ooh, love that. Okay. That's Lynn. Libby Moore. As far as I know, Libby doesn't have any social media stuff, but Libby's coming a long, long way. To come to this retreat and I'm so grateful to her. I can't wait to meet her. Can't wait to meet you, Libby. And um, and then my pal Ruth Hooper. Ruth has been a subby of mine for years, maybe since I started. I don't know. And um, and so Ruth is coming. I think her husband is going to come and he's going to kind of just explore the area while we're retreating and so that'll be super fun look at that cool um yeah so ruth i have shown a few things that over the years that ruth has made for me she has a very similar um aesthetic to Frida at Rustic Prairie Gems. She has a very similar style and I absolutely love it. She's She does incredible work. So I cannot wait to see what she's up to at this retreat. So that's Ruth. Oh, and then, and then you guys, my pal Jessie from Vintage Studio 717. She's Vintage Studio 717 on Etsy, YouTube, and Instagram. And oh my gosh, uh, Jesse and I have been friends for, gosh, Jesse, how long has it been? It's probably been three years, hasn't it? Because we had the, you know, the you know what in between. I think maybe it's been about that long. Anyway, so Jesse, um, when she first started making digitals, uh, I started, oh gosh, I kind of like these this way with the, okay. Um, anyway, so Jessie, uh, I started, I love her digitals, love them so much. And so I started promoting her and, um, 
her Etsy and her digitals. And uh, she has two awesome kids that I feel like are kind of my surrogate grandkids. <laughs> Because I, I get to see pictures of them now and again and everything. So, um, and Jessie kind of, I don't know, she kind of feels like, I think she's my kids' age. And so she kind of feels like an adopted daughter. So I'm super excited for that she gets to come and um, she'll be driving a long way to get here. And I'm just so grateful for for that. Then next is Juanette, and uh, Juanette has Juanette's Crafting Corner on YouTube. And um, I I don't know Juanette well, but uh, just from YouTube. And so we will just get to, to meet each other and spend some time. It'll be awesome. And then Carol Heisel, she, as far as I know, doesn't have any um, social media stuff either. Uh, but I'm super excited to meet Carol. Carol's been a long time subby as well. And then uh, Thea, then Althea Nash, and she is Gingham and Glue on Etsy. She has a YouTube Gingham and Glue junk journaling, and um, but she hasn't made a video for a while, she said. So she's hoping to get back into it, though. So maybe we can all encourage her to get back into it. So... So that is my lineup. We've got Veronica, Lori, Eve, Betsy, Lynn, Libby, Ruth, Jesse, Juanette, Carol, and Thea. And oh my gosh, I couldn't be more excited for this. You know, I don't know if I've used that thickness. I think I'm going to go ahead and cut that in half. Um, and then I would be remiss if I didn't mention... My friend Catherine, who is um, along with her daughter Tina, they are um, they are going to cater the retreat. So um, I'm really excited about that too. Catherine is an awesome cook and an awesome entertainer, and she's excited, so I'm excited. You know, one of those things. So Catherine and I, we just she took the class with me um, at the library. And we went and got ice cream afterwards. It was so fun. And um, she, uh, yeah, and we we were talking about it and talking about getting the groceries and all that stuff coming up. So, so yeah, those are those are my peeps. So I'll I'll have you know the usual Marguerite Miller uh, links and stuff down below, and then I will also link. Um, all of all of my retreat folks okay what time is it we have time to do something so since we cut those um let's play with them how about so i was thinking about well let's see we've done tags and stuff i was thinking about um rhonda without an h sent me these bags and I want to cover a few of them. So let's, let's cover those and maybe we'll, we'll decorate one or two. Maybe we can get a couple, um, a couple covered. Let's see. My sweet subby said that this was Cara Brandon because <laughs> I couldn't remember when I last used these and they are awesome. I absolutely love these um different colored they're just different colored uh cloth sheets i would like there it is i would like blue because i'm gonna one of my journals that oh hello i did have something it was kara good okay glad to see that and i need to put that on top but then i can't see what they are you know what i mean <laughs> oh she's a mess okay <laughs> let's see what oh this would be really cute on for the pocket wouldn't it so with these i'm just gonna uh cover them decorate them and then this will be just it's kind of a shallow pocket but a little pocket 
and then you know then you can put something in there and when you put it on the page if you glue like that you can go here or glue like that you can go here it'll be great so what did i do with my with my tear -er. so oh, i feel like i'm just talking 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 today which i am so but i'm so excited to have introduced all of all of my pals and um oh i was going to show you this too hang on one second we're going to do a project with this pretty soon um i don't know i might do it at my retreat but this is roses and lace this is one of um jesse from vintage studio 717 one of her digitals and i absolutely love it and we're going to make a we're going to make a cover here for it because um, I think I might like to work on that at the retreat. As usual, you know, I am um, thinking, oh, I want to do this. I want to do that. And, um, you know, it's going to be one of those things where I have more projects than time, but that's okay. I want to be sure I have enough to do while I'm there. So I'm going to do this. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm getting really excited. Can you tell? I'm all breathless talking about it. Oh, but it's just going to be so much fun to meet everybody. I get a little taste of it today, meeting Deborah. So that'll be fun. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Just put that on there. Now let's find something for up here. I'm going to have to go here because all of those are chopped up already. I love these, Kara. These are great. I just love collage digital. I, uh, I just have so much fun playing with them. And, um, yeah, so. <sighs> blah, 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 blah. <laughs> That's what I feel like this video's been. Me just blabbing. But um, but fun. So fun to introduce you to everybody. And so, yeah. So then when I talk about these folks, you know, after on the videos after the retreat, you'll know who I'm talking about. But, um, yeah, so... Uh, I, one of the things I don't know is how much, if any, um, videos I'll do while I'm there. And it, it depends on comfort level of the folks that are there because I don't want anyone to feel like, oh gosh, here she is filming when they don't want to be filmed. And, um, and also... I, I, my main focus is going to be on the people there. You know, I don't want to take time out really because these folks have come a long way to spend time. And so let's just say filming is going to be sort of the last thing on my mind. But, um, I did tell the lady that has the place that I would do a video of her of her place and um, may interview her just to kind of show everybody that this place is available. She would like to, um, she would like to be, uh, what, what, what do I want to say? Uh, she would like people from all over to come and have retreats there. So, so I did tell her I would do that. So, uh, I'll probably film that afterward, though, like on Sunday once everybody leaves or something. So that's that's the plan, Stan. So I'm excited the gals that are flying in get to meet Mike right off the bat because he's going to be Mr. From the Airport Chauffeur. <laughs> It'll be fun. Um, and... You know, my husband's really shy and introverted, 
but he's so excited to do it. I think that's so fun. He's just like, yeah. I made him a sign that says Gail's Retreat so he can stand and hold his little sign. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know. It'll be fun. So, very much looking forward to that. I hope everything goes well with their flights. Everything's been so crazy with the airlines recently. That's my only concern is I really, I want things to be okay for everybody that's coming. Um, and have, not have flights canceled or anything like that. Oh, isn't that pretty? I am going to give this a little clip because see there's already a thumb hole there and so we want this to Ooh. <laughs> a little raggedy on the edges probably because the glue's wet it's all right we can get it so that's that's what's been on my mind guys so uh, really I'm gonna I'm going to just do some random little projects as far as filming. Um, and again, I'm not worrying about filming, but I just do want you to know that there's probably going to be a pretty good... there. There's going to be some lapses through July because we finish up... I finish up the retreat and then my um, Mike's and my best friend... We have um, our super good friends that live in California. They are coming up. And so that happens right after and then possibly my daughter. So that is so fun. Let us see. What could we put on that? Um, I'm looking in my little, in my little drawer here. I'll let you look with me. I'm kind of looking at this one. This is a washi tape. Um, yeah, this is a washi tape, uh, made washi tape. Uh, when Rachel at Roxy Creations was making those, I did some too. It's not the, what I just cut up, which were um, the labels the um clear labels okay then that needs a little you know what it needs i think it needs a butterfly do we have a blue butterfly i bet we do <laughs> stretch to get those <laughs> let's see oh there's some blue See some blue. Yep. It's on. Clear stuff. Okay. Well, that's fun. We did that. Let's um, then just glue the sides. I love decorating these little bags. I think it's fun. And I do love the size of this one. So, like, here's a signature page. So pop that right on the page like that. Isn't that cute? And then I think I will go on this side and then have a big pocket to put a big journaling card in right there. Cool. Should we do another one? I think we might have time. At least we can start one. Yeah. Oh, that's so fun. All right. Um, don't want to do another blue one. What else do we have here to play with? Let's see. Pull out some of uh, Rachel's. This would be pretty on the on the top part. Let's see what we've got for the. Let's use that for the bottom. 
just making the quick decisions here so we can get to it. Okay. Yeah, these are quick to make, really, too. It's just covering it, and then... You could do this in a mass make fashion and like tear all the bits at once for, you know, half a dozen sacks or something. And then, um, yeah, just tear them up and then you'd be ready to just be gluing. I'm gonna have some cleaning up to do. That's okay. I, be, I think I'll have some time before I leave to go to lunch, and can. There's my little edge. There it is. Okay. So there's that part, and then I want to do this rose up above. I think. So. So my thing is I now is I need to get I need to get all the groceries. Um, my friend Catherine's doing the catering and I may or may not get those groceries with her, but um, I am going to let's just use this. it's easier uh, get a bunch of snacks and stuff like that so we can eat unhealthy unhealthily because <laughs> that's part of it that's just part of it and um yeah so i need to get groceries and then i need to continue i'm i've been getting things together to take um for I'm going to have a table of stuff they can use while they're here and as well as a giveaway table. And then I need to get, I need to pull myself together with what I need to take, you know. And I have surprises for them for their tables and a little surprise for their bed. So, yeah, it's going to be fun. I'm excited. Definitely has been on my mind for sure. It's like the main thing on my mind. <laughs> but. <sighs> so. Oh, I'm happy to be making these little guys though. This is going to be good. A little extra ephemera that's done ahead of time you know it just makes life so much easier okay so i didn't didn't do any um stressing around the edges did i i guess i can do it now huh So again, these um, these paper sacks are available at Rhonda without an H on Etsy. Okie dokie. So what I'm thinking is some of the vintage tape would be cool on this, don't you think? So what kind like? This is cool with the black, but I don't think I want that on this one. I think I just want like a regular piece. I also want a skinny piece. Where's my skinny ones? I know I cut a couple because I think I'd like one down there. Like maybe like that. So this is the one that I, I think I did it on yesterday's video, I think, um, where it's clear full page labels. And then um, this one I used golden transparent paint on 
I love it. I love it. Not that this can't have something more on it, but I think this is fun for now. And then I think I'm going to go with one down here. Do I want a bigger one or a smaller one? I think I want a smaller one. Fun. And again, I'm, you know, as always, I'm working in threes here. Cute. I wonder if I could use one of my one of my fun labels that I made. Like this one. That's cute. Let's put that there. Okay. And I'm going to give it a little distress since everything else is. And we'll we'll call this a video. <laughs> we we did quite a bit today. But I was I was really excited to introduce you to everybody so that as I talk about them, you'll know who I'm talking about. And I know I'll have much to share afterwards. It'll be it'll be fun to rehash with you guys. Okay, so there is that one. Here is this one. Let's give this a little right here. And pop that down. And we've got ourselves a couple little decorated sacks just like that. Oh, we got a lot done today. So thanks everybody so much for watching. Be sure and go down into the description box, which there's a little arrow right down there. Okay. Um, and if you click on that, it unfolds it for those that haven't checked that out. And, um, and at least just go over and say hi to, um, to all the gals that are coming for the retreat. I would love that. And I'm sure they would too. So have a grateful day, everyone. We will see you in the next video. Bye.